Heather has completely disappeared from sight. Where'd you go? Oh, I oh, saw the I flash. Saw flash. <laughs> <laughs> All right, she's so still out there. <laughs> but I mean, I'm hoping that you guys are enjoying this. I mean, for those of y'all that quarantine or self quarantine, whatever, or just you know that this video kind of gives you you could enjoy these videos and you know we could bring a little bit of enjoyment to you that's that's what we're hoping for even if we don't catch any spirit activity even maybe we can entertain you even if the spirits don't <laughs> <laughs> you know right now as you can see in the back back there bella does not like mommy being out of sight at night at all and I'm really hoping that she decides to hurry up and come back. <laughs> right? You already lost sight of her twice, so. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I'm. You, you guys are seeing me looking over there. I'm. I'm watching for the camera flash. Maybe I should go ahead and post it like this so you guys can see me. Yeah, probably. Looking this way, and, you know, I'm just. I I see her walking back to the, towards the car now. She walked a pretty good distance. Um, we're gonna, when she gets back in the car, I'm gonna wrap back around the, the Chime Garden to see if the other team is still here at all. Still here at all. If not, uh, check out Spectral Researchers of Central Florida and you'll be able to see what they get if they post it. Uh, they, they don't have a YouTube channel up yet. Oh, okay. But, uh, you know, I, they, they, they may have a website, a homepage. Go ahead and check it out. I know they probably, if they do, they, they post the still photos that they take. Check them out. You know, and we'll let you know. They'll let us know when they finally get a YouTube page up, or YouTube channel up. And we'll let you know and, you know, subscribe to them. You know, check them out. Now, if my wife could just go ahead and... <laughs> Stop clicking the camera. <laughs> and she's having a lot of fun with that camera. So... Uh, I mean, the the first time we were out here, this this is the area that she was facing when me and Bella were inside the Chimes Mausoleum, and she was catching shadow figures over here. Oh, okay. She was seeing them, so I'm. Um, I mean, she's maybe, been... Maybe that's it's the one I saw when we were outside that mausoleum. Baby Van was actually further down, Bib, at the end with that green tent. That's why oh. I went ahead and made the walk. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. I... It, it's, it's all right. All right, well, we're going to... Are we still on? We're still recording him. So I can yeah, go ahead. this. I'm going to drive. All right. Just let you, we're, we're gonna drive real quick back towards Chime. Just to see if the other team's still here. If not, I hope they had a, a good time. And yeah, if they're not, thank a you for coming out. Night. Yeah. So Somebody left a drink in the middle here? <laughs> right in the middle of the road. I mean, directly in the middle of the road. I mean, directly in the middle of the road. And I'm hoping that uh, once this is over and we're done with our last video, um, we'll go through, review some of the footage, but I would like to do a quick, maybe five to 10 minute after the haunt session with our team here, okay. just to share some of what we experienced, what we saw, and um oh, they're car ain't here no more. Small wrap up. And then you know give you the information necessary so that you can go and check it out for yourself. Okay. You tell us what you saw and heard. Alright, well their car's gone. It appears the other team that was with us is at least not over here anymore. Uh, in case we don't see them again this evening, 
I'd like to still say a big shout out and thank you for joining us to uh, Spectral <coughs> Researchers. Becky, to Becky. Debbie. Be Debbie, Debbie, Debbie ex James, and Debbie, James, Robert. and Robert from Spectral Researchers of Central Florida. There we go. <laughs> I, I promise, guys. I love you guys to death. I will Remember really work on not butchering that. <laughs> Remembering, not so much the issue. Butchering, I do very well. So I, I apologize. And uh, how about I make sure I give you a quick shout out again when we do our after the haunt session um we're almost done real quick we're heading towards the other side of the cemetery which is across martin luther king which is the myrtle hill uh section um over here even though it's all myrtle hill memorial park the section we began in and usually come to is referred to Garden of Memories. Okay. Now across the street, of course, same owners, same everything, um, is called Myrtle Hill. Um, so we're just going to do a quick drive in here. Um, I'm going to ask someone to step out with the video recorder and hold it for me while I try to do a quick um, spirit connection with my grandmother, nanny, and my uncle. Um, hopefully I'll get something, but if not, mm, that's part of the job we do you know sometimes you end up with four hours of boring content to get 40 minutes of excellence exactly so pull over here because i know your uncle tommy is somewhere yeah very close if i could borrow your <laughs> flashlight and who are you going to take the camera yeah Okay, so I'm going to hand this back over to you. Like once again, our lead investigator, Mr. Pelletier, is going to take over the camera on my behalf so we can do a quick visit. Mm -hmm. um, right. Could I borrow the necrophonic yeah. box, please? All Just right. to see if I can make a quick connection. Wasn't he? Uh, Uncle Tommy. Wait, that's the hedges. Uncle Tommy's a little further this way. He is over here. I'm looking for it. It's larger. Right here. So I'm going to, all right, guys, uh, you got to see some pictures, but didn't actually get to hear the story or anything. Thomas E. Jeffries, born September 25th, the day before my birthday, 1950, passed away on June 11th, 2007. Um... He was one of five children to my grandmother, married to Elizabeth Jeffries. Um, her date of birth is here. 
but she is still alive and with us. So you're, I'm gonna start the Necrophonic app and see if I can make some kind of communication uh, due to the fact that we were so close Hey, Uncle Tommy. Can you hear me? If you can hear me, if you hear me and you see me and you know I'm here, you can talk to me through this device I'm holding in my hand. Or you can speak directly into the microphone on the camera, which I'll be able to hear later when I review the video. Um, Aunt Libby's doing good. She really misses you, loves you a lot. Um, I just... I miss you too. We were very close and it would mean a lot to me if you could reach out tonight just to say hello. I love you. Um, if you could, you know, maybe tell me my name or tell me the name of your dog. Something nobody else would know, so I can verify it's you I'm communicating with. Yeah. What was that? That's right, the dog. What was the dog's name? Can you repeat that one more time? What was the dog's name, Uncle Tommy? I mean, uh, I, did you and Aunt Libby have any children? Correct. Um, well, just know I love you. And you may not be here, but you're in our hearts. And, um, I'm gonna go say hi to Nanny real quick. But. So I'm going to say good night. I love you. Grammy's right behind this headstone. This one right here. Right here. That was Mary Jackie's. And all right, everybody, thank you again. This is going to be our last stop for the evening. We have two headstones here. I'll explain to about them for just a moment. The first is Frank Jeffries. He was born in New York. He was in the infantry during World War II. Born, Ju born May 4th, 1924. 
passed away June 24th, 1963. He died of tuberculosis. He was the husband of my grandmother, my dear sweet nanny. Her name is Rosemary Jeffries. And she was born December 9th, 1928. She's only been here for about two years. Two years, yeah. Um, nanny, I'm here. If you're here with me, go ahead and talk into the box. Talk into this device I'm holding in my phone. Here. I laid it right there, Nanny. If you can hear me and you know I'm here. Can you tell me anything personal? How many boys did you have? How many sons? Well, five is you had five children. How many? How many girls did you have? How many daughters? Dose. That's the Spanish number for two. Mm -hmm. She had two daughters. <laughs> yes or no, Nanny? Are you from New York, too? Just a yes or no. Are you from New York? I want you to know that I love you. You heard that, right? Mm -hmm. it said I love you too. Yeah, that's exactly what it said. I promise I come back soon. Okay. I want you to rest in paradise, Nanny. No more sickness, no more pain. Beer, well, it's paradise, so I'm sure they have beer for you. But, uh, thank you for talking to me. I love you so much. And, uh, promise I'll come back. So, um, hold on. I'm sorry, I'm a little. Okay. I just want to thank everybody for joining me on those last two excursions. That those were a uh, a private need. And, uh, objectively and scientifically speaking, it wasn't really necessary, but I think like most people, if you had the chance to attempt to make contact with a deceased loved one in any way, shape, or form that you would, so... 
anyone watching this, please know I'm grateful to you for coming with me on that journey and uh, not not bailing because it wasn't exactly what you expected. Um, this is Heather Pelletier from CHP Paranormal Investigations. Once again, I just want to encourage you to like, share, and subscribe. Help us keep doing what we do, which is bringing the information to you. I'm going to say good night for myself for the moment. And I'm going to pass the camera to our founder and creator, uh, Chad Pelletier, so he can say good night and pray us out. Okay. Well, it's going to get a little dark real quick, guys, but there we go. All right, so that's our investigation for the night of Myrtle Hill Cemetery. Um, no telling, we, we may or may not be back here for a while, but um, thank you guys for joining us. If you guys catch anything at any time during this video, or, or both videos from the night, Please timestamp and leave them in the comments below. And uh, we appreciate you guys listening or watching. And go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to us yet. Hit that like button and share this share this video. You know, and uh, we, we're going to keep trying to make bring more content to you guys. Uh, we plan on going somewhere else for you guys next week so i mean all in all i mean we we had a, we had a pretty good night we had we had quite a few things happen i mean at the chimes uh mausoleum uh real uneasy feeling which is weird for that one bella was really uneasy with that one i something tried to yank the door out of my hand yep when did it close definitely um, not as much activity over at, at the garden mausoleum like there usually is, but, um, but we did, uh, we get, we did get a little bit, you know, uh, more around the outside, more, yeah, yeah, definitely. We, we had more on the outside than we had on the inside. Uh, I mean, I, I, Lots of orbs, which they need to look out for the stills so they can see those, too. Yeah, the, most of these stills are going to be posted on the Facebook group page, which is also the same name as the YouTube channel. So if you haven't requested to become a member of the Facebook group page, please do that as well. And these stills will be posted on, on there. I'll have them up by morning. So... But I mean, all in all, I mean, we an, an enjoyable night, fun night for not being able to do much. You know, hopefully things will get better and things will start getting back to normal. And, you know, life could continue like it was before this whole pandemic that's been going on. Corona craziness. You know. But uh, it looks like it, at least until the end of this month. But I hope I, I hope sooner we start seeing something in that curve to where it starts dying down. And once that happens, we, you know, it opens the playbook completely back up for us to bring you more interesting places. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and pray us on out. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for allowing us to be able to come out here this evening to do an investigation and film it 
and just enjoy your your presence while it was with us lord we just ask you that that you keep any spirits away from us that they stay here and let and to be known that they're not to come with us not allowed to follow us at all not allowed to touch to any of our equipment our persons or dog that they must stay here lord we just sit there and we want to pray for for the world and everything that's going on in, in this world right now lord we just ask you that it just starts getting better we ask all this in your son in jesus name amen amen so with that guys we're gonna go ahead and sign off and thank you for watching this video and see you at the next haunt